Hey everyone, this is Pete with Look and Diecast. And in this episode, we're going to talk about errors and variations and kind of collecting those to add a little spice and add a little fun to your collecting. I'm going to show you a quick example of a variation and explain to you the difference between a variation and an error. There are There is a difference. In this case, I had this uh, Chevy 2, 63 Chevy 2 from the Satin and Chrome collection, and I started hearing that there were some, some variations with the wheels in these things and with the paint color, the uh, kind of that light silver bluish satin paint. And I went to some stores and I picked up another one and I didn't really see much difference in it at all. I mean, most of it's just in the reflection of the light. Looked for something different with the wheels, didn't really find anything. And then I saw this one and oh boy, and it doesn't even show nearly on the on the camera as much as it does. That that um, orange just jumped out at me as I was looking through car after car after car. That orange is, so these these have kind of a matte finish paint to them. That orange, there's a light blue, there's that kind of gold. They're all uh, a matte paint. This has got kind of a uh, little bit glossier blue, but that orange is a totally gloss orange. You can see it right there. You can see how it shines. There's a lot of these cars being reported. That makes it a variation because there's a lot of cars. Now, if this was just one car that came off the production line or a handful of cars, that would be more so an error. But because there's multiple cars reported with the same difference in the paint, it's more of a, a difference in the production. So that brings it into the into the realm of a variant versus an error. The other type of error, and Matchbox is kind of good for this, is in these interiors. See, there's a, in the very bottom in this interior is there kind of this box. And if you look at this one here, it's a disc. So there's two different interiors for this truck. This is the um, E-Star electric van, came out last year. Very subtle, like nobody would see it just looking at it from the outside, but it's definitely in there. There's two different interiors to that. Is that very highly collectible? Probably not, but because I'm a nerd and I like to kind of find different things to collect and wanted to find some variations for this particular show, I was able to find both of those and I picked them up. To me, one of the most fun types of variants is in the wheels because it's so noticeable and it's so different. The early pressings, this is a uh, L39, had these uh, six spoke rims. The later pressing, L51, had kind of the more traditional old fashioned tires, 62 Nissan Junior, I like the old, but it's got, it's got either one of them. I like to have both of those in my collection. You can kind of set them side by side and, and kind of check them out. That's a fun variation to collect. And uh, Matchbox is really prone to doing this. This I think this year there was probably a dozen, maybe two dozen different cars that had variations with interiors or with tires or with paint colors being uh, pretty considerably different throughout the run. So that's pretty much all I've got for you today. Let me know in the comments if you're collecting these variations or if you know of any variations you think would be interesting to others. Um, I really like collecting them, and I'd like to hear more about them. If you have any, uh, any information on some, I'd like to check it out. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and I would really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed looking at these cars and looking at these variations as much as I've enjoyed showing them to you. Until next time, enjoy the ride.